What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're looking at the Aorus X9 and especially the i9-8950HK. This is the top of the line and for the first time this laptop CPU is comparably powerful to the full desktop 8700K. But the question is, can this thing actually outperform an 8700K when overclocked? So that is what I'm trying to figure out in today's video. How high can you overclock this bad boy on a day-to-day -day basis? Now, I did see a video from Linus Tech Tips where he overclocked an Asus laptop to 5.0 gigahertz using blow matrons and ramping the voltage. It was great and hilarious, but at the same time, was it a realistic portrayal of day-to-day -day usage? I don't think anyone's gonna be duct taping blowing matrons to their laptop anytime soon. So what can you expect when an i9-8950HK is properly cooled in a laptop? That is the point of today's video. Here we go. Now when Linus overclocked the Asus laptop, it hit 5.0 gigahertz or 4.99 gigahertz, but it only scored 1560 or so in the Cinebench R15 score. And that means to me at least that it didn't really perform stably at five gigahertz. It probably was not getting enough voltage and was throwing errors in the process, so it wasn't running at max possible efficiency. The reason I say this is because a properly overclocked i7-8700K will hit around 1650 in Cinebench, so we're talking about a 90 point drop in performance of what it probably should have potentially scored. Out of the box, this thing comes overclocked at 4.3 gigahertz, but its long power boost is only set to 63 watts. That is just not enough to maintain a 4.3 gigahertz overclock. Simply by increasing the power limit, the score jumped from around 1250 at throttle to about 1370. From here, I began increasing the clock speed. But as I jumped up in clock speed, I also saw power limit throttling and thermal throttling. To overcome both of these throttlings, I simply began undervolting the processor. When I undervolted the processor by 120 millivolts, I was able to get stable at 4.4 gigahertz and so the process continued as I increased the clock speed I had to continually increase the undervolt at 4.7 gigahertz I was only stable at a 180 millivolts undervolt which is a massive undervolt for a processor. Now at 4.7 gigahertz with this big of an undervolt, I began running into stability issues. When the processor was idle, it would crash windows, which means that we're undervolting too much. So that is essentially the limit that the processor has. But in reality, when doing day-to-day -day tasks that I do every day, such as rendering a video, I ran into thermal throttling. But when playing some games, it actually handled pretty well getting me a 10 FPS gain in PUBG. Well, in other games like Far Cry 5, it just wouldn't even load into the game, period. I began lowering the clock speed down to 4.6, and again, it wasn't perfectly stable when rendering video, so I again lowered it down to 4.5 with an undervolt of 160 millivolts. And this was the sweet spot that I found for this Aorus X9. It was able to perform exceptionally well not thermal throttle, not power limit throttle, maintain that 4.5 gigahertz in all the games that I tested and when rendering video. I am personally extremely impressed. That said, if you're looking for the ultimate in CPU performance, then this isn't quite it in laptop form. Something like the Clevo P870 with an i7-8700K that's silicon lottery, or what's selling now is the i7-8086K, which is a special edition of the 87 100K processor. That laptop is able to maintain a 5.0 gigahertz consistent speed in Cinebench, pulling in around a 16 50 Cinebench score. Now I am also in the middle of reviewing the Aorus X7 and I've got to say I'm super impressed with that laptop as well. Now the Aorus X7 that I have came from HID Evolution and it has been upgraded with Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut. Now I was able to hit 4.4 gigahertz on the Aorus X7 which is only 0.1 gigahertz slower than the X9 so with the X7 being $900 cheaper and having nearly identical performance it's hard for me to justify spending the extra dollars unless you really 
crave the ultimate in performance. I mean, this is the best performance you can get in something that's about an inch thick. If you wanna go for something thicker, you can definitely get there using a full desktop processor in a laptop form. If it's upgraded, the BIOS is unlocked, it's specially custom done from a manufacturer like HID Evolution. The long and short of it is this Oris X9 with liquid metal cooling is fantastic. It will outperform all other laptops in the one inch or thin category. Love to hear what you guys think about. Post your comments and opinions down below. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.